I just wanted to show an example of the clarity that my camera can capture. That's a bee on a flower in my garden. And that's not taken with a particularly big zoom. That's pretty um, accurate there. Then the other night I managed to capture, just bear with me while I go through these files, this unusual shot. Now you can see here on this one the creature has a blue leg going up and, it, and you can see the position in the bush he's in. I had been looking at some light rods previously which looked very much like he does. This is also another interesting looking little inset. We can um, go in and open that up and do a bit of a large version on Just bear with me while it takes a wee moment for it to load. So if we go in and have a look at him, he's sort of quite interesting looking character. I presume as he, he's a normal insect. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Got quite a sort of a almost a face on there. Not quite sure what insect he is. Then carrying on, we move on to the second shot of of the similar insect. And you can see he's in a different position in the trees. And his leg is a different I think he had a blue leg up here before, whereas now it's a different colour the leg. So this was after I had captured some more light rods. I then have been trying to capture some insects on a flash, seeing if they, if they will be highly refractile. And this is a, an insect in my hand, and it's not highly refractile, and you can actually quite clearly see the wings on it. And if I zoomed in, we can go and see the body parts and everything. Whereas when we zoom back in on those other shots that I've taken, there don't appear to be bodies, it's almost as if they are holographic. There's no specific body there, it's, it's just a shining light. 